hello and welcome back to my youtube channel so if you saw my previous youtube video you know that i tested positive for coronavirus but this is an update because i am negative yes praise the lord i tested negative on sunday and we are on the up and up here i wanted to film a video for youtube for y'all um i posted on my stories what would you like to see from me this year and a lot of people said wedding planning so this is my wedding planning update because we are getting married in four and a half months um what is life like we have so much to do so this month i'm focusing on um a wedding invitation so we are going to continue forward with the same company we did the save the dates I'll put an insert here of what our save the dates looked like. I love them. They were like little magnets for the fridge. So that was really sweet. So the same company, the name on Instagram is Paper Studio. Um, I'll put their handle here as well. So they have everything kind of like in the same theme. So we're going to do that. If you've ever been like wedding food tasting, you know, like you have to keep your guest in mind. Like what will they want to eat, you know? My family is big on meat and chicken, so I think we're going to have to put on our invitations what would you rather eat, like chicken or steak. Um, but to me, it's so difficult because what if, like, my mood, like, changes the day of the wedding? Like, all of a sudden I put steak, like, two months before the actual wedding, and then the day comes, and I'm like, you know what? I'm really feeling chicken today. Like, I don't know. I just don't like having to make people choose on the day that's not the wedding day you know what i mean it's just uh, i don't know i guess that's how people do it so we shall continue forward so what else is on our to-do list sometimes i feel so scattered brain like what like am i even like when's when's the honeymoon like <laughs> that's what jordan keeps saying he's like i'm most excited for the honeymoon i mean so am i i mean we're both virgins so <laughs> so that is like i have to figure out like birth control and all that stuff oh my gosh we're getting so serious right now like ah, i feel so connected to you so i feel like sharing i guess um i gotta figure out birth control um i've heard so many stories about birth control like people say it's made them like fat with acne and all that stuff so i'm really terrified of what the side effects will be but i've heard people have said you should probably try like getting on birth control three um to four months before you actually get married so that like it's in your system and then you can figure out if you like a certain type of birth control or not so i'm sorry if it's loud um there's people in my house and i can't avoid them so <laughs> so yeah i get all the i get all weird i get all weird when i talk about this stuff i don't know i just start blushing like ah uh, uh, it, it's really like it's happening it's happening it's happening oh my god i'm scared okay no, I'm not scared. It's just, it's just different. If you want, like, a video about this kind of stuff, like, so we could talk more about it, I mean, I guess I could do that for you. I don't know, it's awkward -y. Okay, anyways, what else do I have to do? Okay, can I be honest? Like, wedding planning binders or notebooks, they're all fun and dandy, but honestly, I don't, I don't use this as much. I mostly use, like, a Google Doc, um, and I kind of write all of our, all of our expenses down, and, um, yeah. Maybe I'll, like, screenshot that and put that up here so you guys can see what I'm working with. And let me just tell you, things are expensive. My gosh, I didn't realize weddings were this expensive. And gosh, I hope that we get to have the wedding because COVID restrictions in the... Why is it so loud outside? I'm so sorry. The specific location that we are looking at is in upstate New York. And the restrictions is that... Right now, it, capacity is 50 people and you can't dance. So that is, they only permit like first dance, mother, mother and um, mother and son dance, and then father and daughter dance. Like those like important dances, they allow, but everything else is just like, no. What my wedding planner told me is that they've been telling the guest to wiggle at their seat. So, mm. could you just imagine? This COVID stuff is stressful. Okay, this is like girl chat. This video is going to be all over the place, but you said you wanted to see it, so here we go. Okay, engagement shoe. I'm not doing an engagement shoe um, because we're not doing a traditional. We didn't do a traditional save the date where you like put a photo of you two. Like we didn't do that. We did magnets, so there was really no need to do like an engagement shoe. So I think what we're going to do is plan out a shoot like a couple 
maybe like four weeks before the actual um the actual wedding so that we have like photos for the actual wedding day because they're gonna have like a slideshow like we already booked our dj so that's one thing we already did so they're gonna have like a slideshow and like telling the story of the bride and the groom and that'll be fun that'll be sweet and then we also want to put like frames um in on the 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 guest book table frames of photos photos of me and him yeah that okay and then um what else did we do we did bridesmaid proposals groomsmen proposals the venue and food we got to figure out the menu um but we tasted everything we're in the middle of planning out um hotel accommodations so our bridal party will be staying at the same hotel that we will be staying this is for thursday night our wedding's on a friday so the rehearsal is going to be on thursday night the wedding is going to be on friday afternoon around three or four i believe so that's all fun we just have to like make sure our bridal party books their hotel before the actual date because we did like a hotel block you know what i mean and like it's the cruz martinez diaz wedding so you gotta call say you're part of the wedding yada yada um and they only have limited rooms so that's one of the things that we've recently done so our honeymoon is pretty much bugged already <laughs> it's bugged um really grateful because a friend of ours they gifted us like uh their timeshare kind of so we just had to pay a portion of it um but jordan's parents are actually gifting us that so that's really sweet of them um my parents are buying my dress which i'm really happy about so i said yes to the dress i haven't posted this on instagram if you are a youtube subscriber you're getting all the juicy details because i haven't posted that on instagram yet but yes i found my dress and it's been surreal like that dress looks so good jordan's gonna probably faint i'm so happy he's gonna love it i think i hope hair and makeup um i haven't decided yet i haven't booked anyone yet um so that's a little bit in the air but we're gonna figure it out we're gonna figure it out um that's that'll be fine that'll be fine so the flowers are already taken care of we found someone who's gonna do flowers a company it's beautiful i saw a sample of it when we went up to do our um wedding food tasting the florist was kind of like 30 minutes away from the actual diamond mills location so it worked out perfectly it's exactly what i wanted and we're gonna have like really cute flowers like it's gonna be amazing okay should i say it should i say what i'm having um okay i'll just say that it's green there's there's some green in there lots of greenery not like green like roses like that's weird but is, is that even possible green roses i don't know but we're having lots and lots of greenery so it's kind of like that rustic boathouse like kind of feel so that'll be great what else is happening so i figured out what to give my bridesmaids um on the day of the wedding we still have to figure out what jordan is giving the groomsmen if you have any ideas of what to give them let me know that would be helpful we don't know what to give them oh i have to figure out what i'm giving like um my mom what i'm giving my dad what i'm giving um you know just family members who are going to be in the wedding one thing that i have to do is get a flower girl wagon so my flower girl is going to be casey she is my niece she's not even one years old yet she doesn't walk so i saw this idea on pinterest to do a flower wagon so basically i have to figure out where i'm going to get this wagon and the florist is just going to decorate it and it's going to be really cute i saw so much inspo for this on pinterest i was like i have to do this so um casey's dad danny is going to be like you know pulling her so that'll be cute i'm so excited that's so cute a couple things that i have to do um are get like the little decor so we want to do a couple of lanterns so i'm on the hunt for some cute rustic lanterns probably like five or six to have like around in the wedding like in the ceremony and then at the reception for our sweetheart table we're also doing like the wooden signs that say like welcome to the wedding of um you know jordan and jennifer and then we're gonna have the seating chart kind of thing in like wooden and white letters ah it's gonna be so cute i love that um we're like doing everything really simple but like very rustic i feel like i'm only doing the necessary like there is no need for extra stuff because our wallets told us that but no but seriously i just think like the simpler the better i don't want to put like anyone on the spot but i was talking to like a wedding planner and she was like extravagant she was like you gotta put this on the chairs you gotta put this on this i'm like 
I do not need that. I'm just all about simplicity and like if I need it, I'll get it. But like the simpler the better. I just feel like if you do too much, it just like takes away. I don't know. That's just me. And if you want to go for extravagant weddings, do you boo boo. Do you. But for me personally, I just feel like the simpler the better. And I feel like Jordan agrees with this. Like we don't need like bow ties on the chairs. Like in like really extravagant like aisles or stuff like that all we're doing for the aisles is flowers on every other chair i don't know i'm happy with that i'm happy with that and we're gonna have a really beautiful um like arc i think that's how you say it and it'll be great it's just simple it's what i want so yeah it'll be great in terms of like bachelorette and stuff like that and bachelor parties um yeah i don't know what's going on with that but hopefully we do something soon <laughs> that'll be fun okay in terms of wedding shower with covid mess going on and with me recently like experiences experiencing this covid stuff it really kind of made me think like what are we gonna do for the wedding shower so we're not gonna do like a bridal shower where it's just like me um we're thinking we're just gonna do me and him and we're probably gonna do something really simple and it'll be outdoors in the springtime probably april we i believe we set a date for april i just don't remember which exact date it was it'll be a saturday um hopefully this is all in the air but considering covid and all that's going on we're gonna do something outside and it's gonna be not a drive-by kind of party-ish thing you know that has been really common with covid we're kind of gonna do a stop and snack that's what me and my sister kind of came up with um so people will stop by take a snack and it'll be like at a park and stuff and it'll be cute we still have lots of like ideas running through our head but yeah that's what's happening that's what's happening in terms of favors i am planning on doing like cute cookies i just have to order them um really cute cookies that like say jordan and jennifer or something like fun one thing that someone told me told me was like you don't want to do favors that nobody's gonna use so i figured if it's like an edible favor like people just gonna eat it thank you for coming that's all i'm telling you the simpler the better i don't want to go like crazy and buy like super expensive favors like that just makes no sense to me people are probably gonna throw it out and toss it i hope this video has um been helpful in some way i don't know uh <laughs> kind of just like going with the flow planning as much as i can the centerpieces are going to be beautiful flowers and some tea light candles and um a, like a a number like wooden gold numbers um i think written out it's just like the numbers that the venue has like i don't think there's any need to buy like extra table numbers if like the the actual venue provides it you know what i mean like if the venue provides it like i don't have to go above and beyond yeah that's that in terms of wedding updates in terms of our home i am going to try to film an empty semi-empty house tour um so the house the home that um jordan's position has provided has is so beautiful i mean i mean like it's in the bronx but it's very like antique <laughs> i don't know there's like a certain word jordan uses for this house but i forget what it is but it's old kind of old-fashioned i don't know it's beautiful and we're thankful that's all i have to say <laughs> jordan has been living in there so there's like a twin bed and there's like literally minimal minimal decor like <laughs> He has a tv stand with pictures in it um but yeah i think i'm gonna like take you around the house so you can see what we're working with and it'll be fun it'll be great so i'll do that in the next coming weeks before we move in so i'll be moving in after may 21st obviously because i won't be living it with him because we're not married that's just our belief we should not be cohabitating um if we're not married that's just us it's biblical so that's what we're going with i have to find um a card box i need to find that I'll probably go on etsy i have to find the ring bearer box i have to find a here comes the bride sign because i'm gonna have my two nephews um do that and then i have to find the guest book um and i think that's pretty much it that's pretty much all i have to do i still have to get my wedding shoes um i think we're we're at a good point we're at a good point and 
just little things here and there and then it's the big day i feel like that's oh i don't want to ramble but it's what I do. So if you have any other ideas or questions about wedding stuff or things you want to see in my YouTube or stuff like that, just let me know and I will gladly film it. Um, okay, see you.